Hey guys, Arcade Adam here, back with another video. This is the one I promised. Follow up to my last video, how to add a Steam game when in Hyperspin without Rocket Launcher, the easy way, the quick way. So we're going to start off Launchbox. Yeah, I know we're not really going to deal with that, but I just want to show you We've got my Steam library, and I'm going to pick Streets of Rage 4, just because I know that's going to be a popular one. And we got to start somewhere. we got to get the path. So fire this up, and I want to show you how LaunchBox actually handles Steam titles. So we go to here and edit. And the application path is just the URL. Now that's just the desktop shortcut. So all I do for LaunchBox is I take my desktop shortcuts um, and I place them in a folder so they're not cluttering up my desktop, but I do still have them saved. I actually save them in the LaunchBox directory. Um, and that's just my way of doing it. You don't have to do it that way. You can leave them on your desktop. You can put them in a different folder. It doesn't really matter. Um, here I'm struggling to find where I actually put them because I always forget where I put them. But in my LaunchBox directory, in the games folder, and then inside of Steam, I have all these shortcuts. And these are the shortcuts that I saved just so I can pull right back into LaunchBox if I need to reinstall it for whatever reason. But we're not doing that today. We're doing Hyperspin. So I'm going to right-click on Streets of Rage 4 here, the shortcut, go to Properties, and it's not even an application. It doesn't give us a path, doesn't give us an EXE. Like, how do you handle this? It's Steam. So it gives you a, a, an application ID number, which is worthless to us because hyperspin doesn't speak in application id numbers only if you use rocket launcher but that's much more complicated so what i recommend doing go to your steam install directory go to your steam apps uh folder and then go to common so steam install steam apps common and then you see all the english names there for you know one of them being streets of rage 4 uh every game is going to be different but most games will have, you know, an executable inside of an x64 or bin directory, like I just saw there, SOR4. Some will say launcher. All you got to do is pick an application that looks right to you, double click on it, and if it launches, hey, you did it right. That's great. That's all you need to know. Like, that's the one you need to link in Hyperspin. So, it's going to fire up the game, test it, make sure this is the correct version. You never know when it's like a demo version or not the full version of the game. So, you just kind of want to test it before you pick that actual application. 90% of the time, you're going to be able to just look at it and know after you get comfortable doing this, but always good to test. So here's Streets of Rage 4. Throw this guy down a little bit. You know, this is such a, a beautiful game. How can you not you know, want to look at it for a second here? Um, but yeah, done with that. Let's get out of here. Let's get back to work. And uh, I'm going to go to exit here. And what we're going to do is copy the path so steam installation directory steam apps common streets of rage 4 x64 and then we need to remember that application name we're just going to do the same old thing make a, a new wheel go to the main menu wizard in hyper hq that's the green icon in your hyperspin directory executable program pick where you're going to put it i'll put it after nba jam on fire edition back where we were if you're watching my other video we'll finish the wizard Here's where you locate your executables, so we just hit browse there. We'll copy our path down there that we copied earlier. Double click on SOAR4, Streets of Rage 4.exe, hit continue. All right, what are we going to uh, name? Oh, sorry, those parameters. We don't need that. Don't need the parameters. We're not going to use hyperlaunch, so hit no there. And that's it. So we just got to make sure what you named the wheel is important later on if you wanted to add artwork. So we're going to launch up Hyperspin here real quick. Just make sure it works. Make sure it showed up in our list. Stop our little intro video. And there you go. Streets of Rage 4 right there. Uh, but it's ugly. It doesn't have a theme. It doesn't have any clear uh, wheel art. So we got to change that. Because I know you guys don't want to leave your wheels ugly. But we're going to launch it. Just to make sure it works in hyperspin. And just like before. There you go. Streets of Rage 4. No problem. It works. Let's get out of here. We don't need to do anything else. And uh, some of you might be saying, hey, wait a minute, Adam. What What the hell is Steam? I've never used Steam before. Well, let's take a second to look at that. Let's get out of hyperspin. 
and I'll fire up Steam for you real quick. Steam is the PC equivalent of Xbox uh, Live or PlayStation Store. It's just a storefront, a digital storefront for uh, PC games that you can purchase and download. Uh, so you make an account, you know, you sign up with an email address, enter in, you know, credit card details, whatever, but this is the main application. You just type in a game you want, Streets of Rage 4, and here you go. And then there's Streets of Rage, Streets of Rage 3, 2, and look at these prices. The old school games are cheap. They're 99 cents or something. There's a wide range. You can get AAA titles like the latest Call of Duty on here for 60 bucks, or you can get these indie games like the ones I showed off in my last video, Shaolin vs. Wu-Tang, and I just noticed that there's a second one that just came out. It came out March 9th, like brand new. Guess I got to get this one, and it's like 9 or $10 or something. It's really cool to get these like indie-developed games um, that look really neat and are very niche and things like that. And Steam's got everything. So just make an account, download the game, uh, purchase the game, download the game, and then once you've got it installed, you can head over here to your library, go to Properties, and hit create desktop shortcut and then you start the process all over again like i showed you to take the shortcut put it in a specific directory look at the path and you're good to go you don't even have to load it in a hyperspin you can just keep it on your desktop if you don't want to mess with this putting it in a hyperspin just you know keeps maintains the illusion keep and makes it easy for you to launch the game um but now let's make hyperspin pretty you know we don't want to leave that ugly plain jane logo on our, our main hyperspin wheel so all you got to do is search for Streets of Rage 4, type in clear logo PNG that helps you find a clear PNG, you know, with transparency. So look for on Google Images for those checkered boxes. And when you open it in a new tab, it should maybe have a clear background. So you just want to save that, open your downloads directory, rename it, make sure you rename it to exactly what you have in HyperHQ. Uh, even capitalization and spacing. It's got to be identical, otherwise it won't pick it up. So we're going to go back into HyperHQ, check our wheel settings, and just make sure it's exactly the same. Otherwise, you'll keep launching Hyperspin and wonder why none of this is working. So yeah, we've got the spacing right, we've got the capitalization right. We'll copy this, and we'll go to our Hyperspin directory. And this is a rumor, but I've been told uh, by more than one person that my drive and the Extreme Home Arcade drives are authored by the same author unconfirmed reports but so this path should be the same for you d arcade media main menu images wheel that's the location path it's up there at the top pause the video if you need help finding it you just paste it in there and just make sure you know it's alphabetized in the back in there we'll go into hyperspin make sure hyperspin sees it fire it up real quick and you can see it's right up there so we've got our logo, but we don't have a theme, so it's still ugly. So let's go get a theme. And you can make your own themes out of videos, but I prefer, like if you've got a popular game, you just go into Google again and type in Streets of Rage 4 Hyperspin Theme, and you should get a ton of results. If it's a popular game, everybody and their uncle is going to make one. And most of them are pretty cool. We'll see what we get on the first click here. There, there's a YouTube link. Um... That looks fine. Let's see what that looks like. Not Streets of Rage 2. We need Streets of Rage 4. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, yeah. That looks pretty cool. And he's got the video clip already in there. Let's see if he offers that for a download. You know, pay mind to these download links. Make sure you're not downloading spyware, but this is just some SharePoint site. It looks fine. And uh, it's not tripping the Google, you know, antivirus or anything. Let's download that. We will extract it, and we should get a couple files in there. It should be the clear logo if you need it. You know, we already did our own, so we don't need it. And then the video file. So we'll copy the theme, which is a zip, and the video file. And we'll go back into that path. D, arcade, media, main menu, themes. And we're going to paste both files in here just for convenience. I already had it in preparation for this video, so I'm going to replace. Then I'm going to cut that video, go back to the main menu, go to the video directory, and paste that video in there. Again, I already had it just because in preparation for this video. And now they're both in there, so when we launch Hyperspin, this guy's theme should be in our main menu. So now when we go here, hey, looking nice. Got a nice video, got a nice theme. We're all set. 
we're launching from the main menu on our Steam game that we purchased. We're good to go. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you have any more questions. Like and subscribe and put some comments down below. Thanks guys.